Did you know that we can use the natural temperature difference in our tropical oceans to create electricity day and night and all year round? This idea isn't new. In 1881, French physicist Jacques d'Arsonval came up with the first concept to harness this energy. Throughout the 20th century, there were several attempts to demonstrate this technology in the Caribbean and Pacific. The first was in Cuba in 1930, but it was destroyed by seasonal storms. Then in 1979, Mackay successfully demonstrated floating platforms called Mini OTEC and OTEC-1. In 1981, the Japanese built a project in Nauru, but this was also destroyed by a storm. In the last 10 years, permanent demonstration projects in Hawaii, USA, Japan, and South Korea have successfully proven the concept of running a closed cycle OTEC plant for energy generation. OTEC works best in tropical equatorial zones, where the temperature difference is at least 20 degrees centigrade all year round. The ocean warm surface water vaporizes a working fluid with a low boiling point. The vapor expands and spins a turbine, coupled to a generator, which produces electricity. The vapor is then cooled using cold deep water. That way the vapor is condensed back into a liquid and you can reuse it. This makes it a continuous electricity generating cycle. Why is this important to islands? Electricity grids require two types of power generation technologies, baseload and peak load. Well-established renewable energy technologies like solar PV or wind turbines generate intermittent power that needs energy storage to compete with baseload technologies. But oil imports are still needed for constant baseload power. OTEC is a baseload power source. Whatever the weather, time of day or year, the ocean water is still warm. It would take an ice age to disrupt an OTEC plant. Who are we? Global OTEC was founded to commercialize ocean thermal energy and provide clean, reliable, and affordable energy for small island developing states who experience some of the highest energy costs in the world. Global OTEC signed an agreement with SIDSDOC, the Small Island Developing State Sustainable Energy and Climate Resilience Organization, to collaborate, starting with a pilot project in Sao Tome and Principe, set to prove how OTEC can be operated in a commercial setting. Global OTEC has since been awarded a 3.5 million euro grant from the European Commission's Horizon Europe program to demonstrate how this structure can survive in tropical storm zones such as the Caribbean. SIDSTOC members have designated OTEC as a priority technology for energy security and at COP26 alongside the Sao Tome and Principe Prime Minister, heads of state from Belize, Seychelles, Tonga, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines publicly endorse global OTEC's floating systems. Arrays of floating OTEC platforms can be deployed to significantly reduce the cost of electricity production on SIDS and pave the way for multi-use projects, which can produce fresh water, fisheries projects, lithium, even hydrogen. Ocean thermal energy represents future of industrialization, energy, food, and fresh water across tropical islands and coastal states. Visit globalotech.co to find out more and subscribe to the newsletter to receive the company's latest updates.